hi guys good afternoon uh, this is omar with you uh, and osh contents today inshallah we will be discussing about the calculating of risk metrics and uh, making risk assessments uh, today we will discuss uh, also about the uh, two type of risk assessment which is uh, generic and dynamic and the difference also between the generic and dynamic risk assessments so if you guys are new in our youtube channel so please uh, uh, subscribe our channel and push the bell icon and also share with your friends so let's start it the first is risk assessment process what are the risk what is the risk assessment process uh, the first thing that we need to know that what is risk so what is risk risk is the combination of likelihood and consequences the likelihood and consequences we will be uh, discussing in the next uh, uh, slides so the definition of the risk is risk is the combination of the like uh, of likelihood and consequences so how we can identify that and how we can assess it so we can the first thing is identify the hazards so i will just discuss these five steps so we will not be discussing uh, in the next slides identify the hazards how we can identify the hazards the hazards can be identified by the risks the level of the likelihood and the level of the consequences if the likelihood is high and the consequence is high so it means the risk is high if the risk is high it means then we can consider it as a hazard so identify the hazards identify who might be harmed and how this will also we will discuss in the next uh, slides in the coming slides so identify who might be harmed and how evaluate the risk then the risk evaluate the risk that if the person is also can fell down and uh, who might be harmed or some things like that maybe the other person is with him uh, so there are two three persons like that or maybe the pedestrians can be so that's how we can evaluate the risk also the level and the likelihood and the consequences of the risk and then we need to record the findings means we can make uh, risk assessments and we need then to review it time to time and periodically when we when we can uh, review it after one year as per uae and then uh, once incident happened or uh, there's some new rules or some new equipment in the site so then we can review our risk assessments and we need to amend it periodically so here are the hierarchy of the risk controls these things i would just want to discuss with you so that maybe the per the, uh, the 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 fevers they are new in the uh and the safety field and also they are uh they are not uh familiar with the risk assessments or uh, with the metrics so that's why i just want to discuss uh these things also it will not take long time uh, just be with us the, the hierarchy of risk control measures the hierarchy what are the hierarchies there are five hierarchy steps the first thing is elimination which is the most best practice to eliminate the hazards but most of the time you cannot eliminate the hazards for example you have a mobile crane and the mobile crane uh, you need it immediately and you need to finish your work but the mobile crane is very old and there is a uh, 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 you know there there's no indicators nothing about the uh, load charts not available so with that you can do what you can eliminate you need to remove it and you need to do by some other uh, other equipments or by the people you need to carry out that task another is substitution the substitution is our very best practice the substitution means you need to replace that crane that mobile crane and you need to bring another mobile crane by uh, the new one which can be acceptable to carry out the task uh, engineering controls the engineering controls means uh, if still you need to you need to make it maintenance or maybe you know so for uh, a simple example uh, there is a saw wood cutting machine or wood cutting saw there will be which has no uh, cover there is no protection for it so the the carpenter maybe he can uh, touch his hand and uh, th that cut uh, uh, the 
directly and he can be uh, injured so with that you can put a uh, simple guard on it so th there will be uh, isolation uh, the people are from the hazard so the, the person will be isolated by that hazard administrative controls means you can give trainings to the employees you can change the time of, uh, uh, schedule of the work or you can uh, 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 provide some supervisors so you can supervise supervise them so with these things you can uh, you you can use this one if the, all these three are impossible but if all of these four are impossible then we are providing PPE like us for what uh, for the grinding work we need to provide PPE because there is chances of vibration and there is chances of uh, electrical uh, electrocution and also chances of uh, hand injury so we need to provide them gloves or maybe for the employees who is working in construction their chances of uh, applying applying objects and falling some objects from the top so they need to wear uh, the helmet so the last thing is PPE but this will just protect the person identify potential hazards so how we can identify the hazards that we can identify the hazards as by uh, if uh, as is uh, in the next slide you will see a photos you can see that how likely that incident will occur and what we could expect if an accident occur it means what will happen the person will be died or there will be fracture or there will be just a normal injury or scratch like that or some materials might be uh, uh, damaged so evaluate the risk by likelihood and consequences the same within we will evaluate and consequence the likelihood these likelihood and consequences we can discuss also in the matrix the whole matrix is made by the likelihood uh, from the likelihood and consequences so here you can see guys there are two person one is working on scaffolding and the other one is just uh, uh, giving him some materials some buckets so we can see here who, are, who might be harmed and how the person who is working on scaffolding he might be harmed because he, the scaffolding is unsafe and he can be fell down and how he will be uh, how he will be harmed he can fall down and the, there because there is no protection he has no FBH full, full body harness and might there is some other materials will also be on the ground floor so he can uh, he can hit that materials or some things some objects down and also the person who is working with him the scaffolding might fell down on that person or maybe the person or the materials can fell down on him because he is not wearing helmet and he is working very close to that activities to the scaffolding and the other person so evaluate the risk what will be the risk evaluation check the likelihood chances of the incident that can be occurred so here we can see actually the likelihood the uh, okay we will discuss that later so uh, we can see the person if there is a lot of chances that he can fill down okay so the likelihood is high the likelihood you can we can put it four because there is chances check the consequences of accident happen so the consequences what will be the consequences the consequences of the height is the scaffolding height is more so maybe the person can fell down and he can could be died uh, maybe uh, uh, also there will be serious injury fractures uh, permanent disability so the consequences also can be four because there, if the uh, if there is single fatality so still four if there is permanent disability still four so description so how the risk matrix to determine risk level is uh, descriptor likelihood uh, likely frequency and probability so here we can see here we can see the frequent uh, so you will start it from down the rare rare is which is never occurred or once in occurred because uh, for the risk assessment that says you can see in the, uh, the the area that you are working in for example in your country or maybe in uh, 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 in the city that where you, where you are working you can you can say that that this incident happened how many times in that 
in one year so maybe it's not even happened so you can put one or maybe it's possible to happen when it's like once or twice in a year it's happened so you can put two or you can say likely likely means uh, has occurred more than once so it means like in years it's occurred in a once so it means three so often means it's yes has occurred many times in a year so it means uh, two three times has occurred in a year so you can put it four so the fall protection so the fall incidence you can see is frequently you know everywhere it can be uh, it can be occurred so it's the the frequent of uh, the falling is now it will be five so means in one year there's more times many many times it's uh, happened so with that you can uh, you, you you can uh, make uh, you can identify the level of risk uh, especially the likelihood the likelihood you can evaluate by this matrix so here the severity so how we can identify the severity these are five by five which is uh, uh and is per Oshad abu dhabi uae insignificant consequences score one uh, which is uh, the insignificant has result with a first aid injury or scratch that continue his her work and doesn't affect any activities okay so the minor consequences score two manner which has result of injury that can be treated by the medical practitioner and can't continue the work means means the person if he is injured you need to take him to the hospital or to the uh, medical practitioner and he cannot continue the work for the same day moderate consequences score three the moderate injuries that can be treated by the medical practitioner and or in hospital and might lead to have long-term or permanent disability because there, uh, there, there, there are chances of permanent disability and also also you need to, or, uh, or chances of long leave maybe for a week or for 10 days or for a month so that can be LTI so major consequences score 4 is fatality single fatality so they put single fatality and 4 and then there's 5 which is a uh, result of fatality more um, multiple fatalities which is called catastrophic consequences so that will be five if there is chances of more than one person like two persons can be died like people they're working on scaffolding and the scaffolding can be filled down so if the scaffolding uh, would uh, uh, collapsed so of course there will not be one person there will be two three persons who is erecting scaffolding and also the person who is working with them so there will be <clears throat> multiple fatalities chances of multiple multiple fatalities and if a person who is standing under the uh, lifting and maybe the lift chances of lifting fell down so there is chances of single fatality so so you can put them for if there is single fatality you can put them in four and if there's multiple fatalities you can put them in five and if there is no fatality but there are serious injuries you can put them in three and if there is no serious injuries and they're just the person need to be taken to the medical practitioners and he cannot do the work for the same day so that can be score of two okay it means there's some like person he just uh, fell down or he has a uh, hand injury but he cannot continue the work so that is score two and then there is a just a scratch i need first aid so it will be the score one so that can be so that will be the score one <clears throat> so here's now is the the risk evaluation acceptability of risk so this is the risk matrix uh, which is five by five uh, approved by ushad and this one also i have taken from the osha website so you can see here now the likelihood that this table is for likelihood and that one is table one for the consequences okay so the consequences this is the consequences table so what are what is the likelihood likelihood is one which is rare then possible two which is likely three and often which is four and frequent almost certain five okay so significant uh, in the, in the consequences the score one minor score two moderate score three major score four catastrophic five 
score 5. So let's see now how we can calculate this one. If the likelihood is rare and the significant is 1, so the risk level is 1 by 1 multiply 1 is 1. Okay. If the, the, uh, the likelihood is 1 and the consequences is 2, so if for example if a uh, accident can be happened but the chances is rare there is no chances or there's chances we know we, we we cannot say that yes it will happen or not but it's, the chances are rare but if happen for example if happen so the result will be two which was one multiply by So it's two. If the possibility, if the, the the likelihood is possible and it's in two, the category two, and the and the consequences is also two. So two multiply by two is equal to four. Let's see. What is 4? Four? 4 is here. Okay, where is 4? Four? 4 is 4 is here. So 4, what is 4? Four? 4 to 6 as moderate. And moderate means and moderate means activity or industry can operate subject to management and or modification. Okay. So the another one is if the likelihood are three and the consequences for example is two so three multiply by two for example we'll just two or four whatever so that will be six so six is the same but if it's four so then we can make it three multiply by four it is what sorry equal 12. where is 12? 12 comes here which is major right it's major so what is 12? 12 is here from 8 if the scores level uh, if the risk level comes from 8 to 12 or between that so it's considered high if it's considered high so what we need to do activity or industry should be modified to include remedial planning and action and be subject to detailed OSH assessments so that is also the action which need to be taken but if the likelihood is 5 and the consequences are 4 so what will be the risk level will be 20 which is catastrophic from 15 to 25 it will become catastrophic because when this will come if the likelihood is 5 or the consequence is 5 there are chances of catastrophic incident so then it will be catastrophic it will be what catastrophic so from 15 to 25 it will be extremely extreme risk and extreme risk you need to do what activity or industry should not proceed in current form okay i will show you how uh, the if the likelihood is high so how we can also take action against that and activity or industry should not proceed in current form so in the next we will see so here guys we have finished also the metrics if still you are not understood so you can put down in the comments and you can ask or if you want to know about more uh, about this more or any other thing so you can also ask in the comments here let's start now here you can put the department which department we will okay we will discuss about the dynamic risk assessments okay
the dynamic risk assessments or site specific risk assessments we can make for the specific when we have some activities and we can make this the, the risk assessment for that specific activities or means work is in the progress and then we can make this uh, make risk assessments so with that time we need to make assessment department you can write the department operation or whatever maybe workshop so you can put the department here the location you can put the location there and last review when it was reviewed okay name of uh, experiment activity name of the person in charge name of the person informed ne next review date when it will be reviewed so here the task there is look here we will see how the 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 the, the likelihood was five so the deshuttering work the deshuttering work there are some people they're working in deshuttering and i have not worked but if they're they, they are working you know uh, uh, in the building for example and there is access you know nearby the access so there are chances of filing some uh, plywood or some materials and person down so working at height what is the hazards the task is that deshuttering working at height the possible consequences for a person chances of shuttering fall and person can cause serious injury and fatality so these are the chances what the fatality if there is fatality means one person maybe some person one person uh, uh, will be walking under that uh, beneath of that activities or maybe the people he the person he can fall down because there can be also one person so there is what there is fatality which is four because there is there is fatality chances of fatality which is four but here you was dedicated by warning tip this one the area was dedicated it should be five the the likelihood should be five because there are high chances of of the falling materials on a person but the area was barricaded just barricaded nothing else it was it becomes four so four by four is 16 which is still what you can see up which is still 16 major we can count as major okay so that's become 16 so we need to do what we need to stop the work the activities we need to stop the person that was working that the shut the shutting activities need to be stopped because the chances is very high there is 16 the risk level is 16 and then additional tasks additional tasks what we need to pro, uh, additional new risk control what we need to uh, provide that that activities signages for employees there should be a signages for the employees of the falling objects overhead protection a overhead protection if required need to be provided so that even if a deshuttering activities is going on or some shutter fell down or some other materials or tools fell down so it will not hit a person that who is working down or he is passing by so there should be overhead protection and supervision supervision is provided so that he can inform the person that who is working up and also the people that who is working down and he need to make sure that yes the working is carrying out safely ppe such as helmet and gloves shoes so the ppe need to be provided for helmet so that reduce reduce the chances of hand injuries gloves uh, sorry the helmet reduces the chances of head injury gloves that reduces chance it reduces chances of uh, hand injuries shoes reduces chances of uh, the tools and uh, the foot injuries so here many people they say you no know, the severity cannot be reduced but here i can show you the how the uh, severity can be reduced if there was a severity rate of four the person can fell down uh, the person can be died why there will be fatality chances because there was no protection so that's why the chances was the severity rate was uh, sorry the consequences was four okay so the consequences was four here now we have provided overhead protections where's the chances is no, there is no chances because the deshuttering or any tool if fell down he cannot hit any person because there is overhead protection so the the, the consequences fell down we need we provided ppe we have provided gloves so there is no chances of hands 
but maybe he can slip that's why there is just two or we have provided helmet so there is no chances even if it's fell down or he is working there so he can just be uh, uh the, the 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 tools can be hit uh, the helmet and the person will be safe so there is no chances of fatality does any chances of fatality here no so the, the the still the likelihood is three because still the working is going on and the person that who is removing the shuttering so he is still there there are still chances for him because this will risk activity so there's there's still chances of three but the severity rate now it's come down and it just becomes two so what is that the uh, the the risk level will be now six okay what is the six here let's go up it is six so six is minor what we need to take moderate activities or industry can operate subject to management or modification same supervision is required so who need to take action about it site engineer and scaffolding super, uh, supervisors or the person the deshuttering supervisors so when uh, what is the deadline deadline is immediately because the work need to be stopped and the, uh, the protection the action need to be not to be done so here who conducted now here we will come you so that was the risk assessment so now what you will do conducted by name designation who has done the risk assessment approved by name who has approved that one the project manager or the site engineer who was the responsible person there signature of the person who uh, conducted the risk assessment approved the person's signature and debt so now here is the general risk assessment what is the general risk assessment this is the same you need to fill it for that so the difference between the general risk assessment and and the specific uh, sorry the dynamic risk assessment is just by these things there was what was the difference the, the difference was here existing risk control and additional risk control there was residual risk by yeah, after re additional risk controls and current risk level this is the current risk level and this is the residual risk level so come down here here we have risk level okay and then risk controls the what will be and then risk control and then we have residual risk what will be the residual risk action by no need action by your timeline because the work even you know you can make the general risk assessment even the pro the project is not started or just in mobile mobilization time or before activities you can and many times you know before activities you need to prepare the general risk assessments and the specific risk assessments or dynamic risk assessments you can provide you can make it after once you start the activities you can at the same time also you can start you can make that uh, so, dynamic risk assessment so here we can see scaffolding activities what were what will be the scaffolding activities this is just generic this is our idea the scaffolding activities there's working at height many but i have just mentioned for you guys like working at height so the possible consequences what will be the possible consequences falling a person or materials from height serious injury or fatality and damage to assets so how many people they are working because scaffolding can be reacted okay by more than one or two person if it is collapsed people might work down or maybe the person who is up chances of fatality which is more than two what is that catastrophic right yeah it's five catastrophic because chances of fatalities multiple fatalities and the likelihood are four why because there's still maybe it will fall down there's chances of falling but it's not high is that so that's why it's not five it's four so here what we need to provide we need to provide support support for the scaffolding we need to provide ladders proper ladders guardrails we need to provide level the best level should be done fbh need to be provided full body harness need to be provided many but i have just mentioned for you like that just for understanding and then the level of the uh, the consequence what if these every these all are provided so then what will be that the level is two because there is no chance the person will be fell down it's just possible you know so then then there is s because even person fell down there will be one person fell down and also if there is fbh 
and proper supervision and guardrails and two boards like that or materials fell down so there will be and proper PPE so there is no chance of fatalities okay so if there is no chance of fatalities so what will be sorry let's go down 3 2 is 6 so what will be 6 here okay it's moderate activities can be carried out okay so this was so the, the the risk becomes the risk level becomes six so this was the action who need to take action who will be responsible the responsible will be their scaffolding supervisor or maybe the person that who uh, the, the uh, engineer that who is uh, um, responsible for that area so that that's that's the thing the there is see if in the risk assessment if you see here there's just two sections one is for the hazard identification and other for the risk evaluations so we have identified here hazards and also the evaluation of the risk so i hope you guys uh, understand and uh, there will be no questions if there's any questions you can still ask so that was today training thank you so much if still you have not subscribed please subscribe and uh, share it with your friends also thank you so much